And when I think of our young soldiers uh, in theatres of war, you know, Afghanistan, Iraq, um, talk of some going off to Libya and all that sort of thing, it's just amazing. And uh, hats off to them. I, I did a bit of work with um, some officers uh, a couple of years ago, and they were so complimentary about our young soldiers. You know, often you know the younger younger elements of our society can get maligned, and we can talk about them being lazy, we talk about them being self-centered, etc. When they join the military, they stand and fall in line in the best traditions of, of military service. Um, I admire them. I, I myself would be. I would be very, very scared if, if I had to go to Iraq or Afghanistan. But from my exposure in 1982 with the Falklands, I realised that I would go and I would do my country proud. And, and these young men and women, they do go and they do do their country proud. Um, I'm not always sure that we, get, we go and we fight for the right reasons. But once our, once our government of the day decided they're going to go, our young men and women put themselves on the line. Me personally, whew, it's a real big deal. It's a real big deal. It's, you know, because I know how great life is. I've had a phenomenal life and I think of those young soldiers that don't get past the 21st birthday. You know, and it can be a statistic to many people in the country. It can be just another news item on the, on the, on the, on the on news at 10 or... But for me, you know, I think of Alfie Birch. I think of Paul Collins. I think of all the soldiers that I serve with in their cheeky, in their, in their, in their effervescence and their can-do attitude. And I think of them going there, not coming back, you know, and it's one thing, the Falklands, someone attacks your sovereign land. It's another thing when you're in other, I don't want to get all political, but it's another thing when you get into all sorts of skirmishes because these are real young men real, vibrant, sentient, funny, engaging, powerful young men that have got the whole world ahead of them. You know, and some of them don't come back. And so it's, you know, when I see that, it's quite a poignant moment. And I, I know I stood there before myself. I didn't go. I would have done if they'd called me. These guys do go. They do us proud. And some of them don't come back.